Courtney Madden with Texan Live here to present your Week 1 Player of the Week, quarterback Davion Boyd. Congratulations. Thank you. So, what are what are your thoughts on the game this week and how you've played so far? Uh, well, we started out good. I mean, there's so much stuff we gotta get better at, so we're still working on it. But like, this team is great. Like, we got a real good team, and like, we're gonna go far. What are your goals for this season? Uh, my goals, honestly, is just to help the team win. Anything I can do to put this team in a better position, that, that's what I'm gonna do. So obviously being a quarterback, you have a great O-line. So talk a little bit about your offensive line protecting you. My offensive line is doing really well this year. Um, I mean, practices are tough for them, but they're fighting through it. They're doing well. And then obviously we can't leave out the defense. Talk a little bit about your defensive guys. Yeah. The defensive guys, um, they're amazing. I mean, it's crazy. They don't let no big plays happen. Nobody, it's crazy. I don't know how to explain it, but no defense. But I mean, they, they ball out is what they say. <laughs> And then winning Texan Live Player of the Week for our first week, what does that mean to you? Uh, it's, it's a good accomplishment, but, I mean, there's more stuff to be worried about during the season, so we're just going to keep going. All right, well, first talk about your accomplishments and then talk about what it's like to play with Boyd. Um, it's really fun playing with Davion because he spreads the ball around to uh, all of us receivers, you know. Oh, and accomplishments. Uh, uh, last year I was at quarterback, you know. So I didn't really get to play the position I wanted, but this year I'm at receiver. I got 15 catches. Uh, I'm not sure what, how many yards I got, but they told me I lead the district. Like, like 180 something. Yeah, 180 something. They told me I lead the district like last Tuesday on Tuesday. And how long have you and you two been playing together? Since, Since like literally, yeah. I don't like know 10. how. Yeah, like ten. Like ten. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy playing with Davion. He's a he moves the ball around. Last yeah. year I didn't get the ball much. I mean, I was. Like, <laughs> Because, I mean, we had we had to move now to uh, quarterback. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get the ball much. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm happy this year. Like, okay, going into right. going into your senior year, what are y'all's expectations for the team? Uh, we really want to go far in playoffs. We're planning on uh, making it to state. But we got to keep practicing, you know, and taking one game at a time. We're planning on getting better and better every day and every week. And hopefully make it far in the playoffs. You know, I was fortunate enough this summer to be part of your seven on seven, but you know, one of the things on seven on seven, you don't get the opportunity to see the defense and, and knowing what kind of defense this team had, it felt like if the offense does exactly what Davion's done, which is manage the ball, move it around and, you know, ultimately gonna score a lot of points. The defense really could take y'all deep in the playoffs, if not all the way through the state championship. Tell us a little bit about where you're at and, you know, where you're looking for this season. I mean, well, our defense we're just like we just do our best in practice and try to um, get better every day. Well, how many guys are actually come back this year? How many starting seniors did you have, or actually underclassmen, come back this year? I think like eight or eight or ten. Well, and you know, and that was one, of the, and I'm just going to keep rolling. Just like, you know, that was one of the things from last year. You know, you guys had a really good defense. Unfortunately, had a couple of players uneligible in that first playoff game. So I know a lot of people thought, well, you had a great record, but got knocked off early. But I know how good this defense is because I watched all year last year. It sounds like you got eight, maybe nine guys returning this year. So that has to be important. And I, it, it all comes down to team spirit and, you know, playing together. So uh, where are you going after this level? Do you have any college uh, offers yet, or what's your thoughts on that? Uh, not yet, but I'm hoping I can get something. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep <laughs> just gonna keep working to get better. All right, I got Devin here. I know for a fact he's got several offers out there. But more importantly, it really isn't about offers. It's about what you bring to the team. And I know in seven on seven, you were a big part of it this summer. Tell us about about how you lead that defense out there. Uh, we had a lot of a lot of young guys out there, so I was trying to. Run a, run a defense, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we did really good. We did really good. We got far this year. We got farther than last year, so that was a good accomplishment for the team. Have you actually verbally committed to any college, or what are you? What are your thoughts right now on that? Uh, no, sir. But it's a lot of a lot of D two, small D one, double A, and a uh, couple couple D one, small D one schools looking at me right now. Uh, I'm looking probably to. Uh, Probably commit probably next year, you know what I'm saying? Next year, probably. 
Okay, well, you know, and that's one of the things, you know, I'm asking some tough questions here, but, you know, at the end of the day, you see so many kids now commit to a school early and, and then back out, so it really doesn't matter. You know, the main thing is is a team playing as a team, and the one thing that I've seen and, you know, being with you all this summer, had an opportunity to see it firsthand, you definitely play as a team. So I'm head coach Burt Brocker with TexanDrive.com. Thank you all very much, and – 